Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we are exploring Tomb Raider. Uh, after finagling around with my uh, controls a little bit, we've now got a uh, bow and arrow that we can totally kill innocent birds with. And pick up more arrows right here. Right. Can we get the, uh... Oh, we got experience for it. Oh, okay, we can't get the arrow back. Darn. That's okay, though. So right now, we are hunting down a deer... And, uh, also sort of just pulling around and doing crap. Oh, right. To do the, the weird double jump thing. That's totally weird. Oh, well. Okay. Ooh, hey, thingy. Hmm. Some kind of container. GPS cache. Behind. I don't know. Probably somebody who knew what they were doing. In other words, not me. Ha ha ha. Ho ho ho. ho. Uh, get it? Anyway. Thank you for your bow, Mr. Mr. Dead Guy. I think we're maxed out on arrows now because we only picked up three from that one. I'm pretty sure the arrows are supposed to give five each. So. Alright, anyway. So yeah, sensitivity is a little bit high. I might want to change that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes with uh, trying to shoot the deer. If we have to brutally murder. For our own sustenance. Like right there. Or there. Alright, there you go. Damn it! I wanted to get a headshot, but he was ducking down. It was a bad angle. I just couldn't do it. Alright, come on. Stay still. Thank you. Good enough. Yeah, the sensitivity is super high. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> That's right, she doesn't have an actual knife. She's gonna have to use that to cut it open. That's gonna take a long time. Thanks for not making me do a quick time event for that. Appreciate it. Return to camp right. with the meat. Back to camp. Plus one skill point. Yeah. All right, Lara. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Great. Thanks, Spirit of Roth. Is, is Roth a Jedi? Did he die and, like, you know, have his, like, spirit linger on to give us advice on how to defeat Darth Vader? And I'm not gonna use the survival instinct game. Thanks, I can find my own way back. Alright. Campsite! Yeah, skills, spend skill points on the skills menu to upgrade abilities. Super great. Survivor. And there's Hunter. Survivor. Hunter. Survivor. What? There's supposed to be a third one, isn't there? There's totally a third one. I guess not. I don't know what's going on. Okay, whatever. Anyway, Animal Instincts. Keen observation allows you to spot hard to find animals and food sources. Uh, survivalists earn extra rewards when looting animal corpses and food caches. Advanced salvaging thoroughly search crates and caches to find extra salvage. Bone collector carefully looting animal corpses will reward you with extra salvage. Arrow retrieval resourceful archers can recover arrows from the bodies of enemies. Scavenging spotting hidden pockets on enemy corpses will reward you with extra ammunition. Climber's Agility. Increase your climbing skills to, to traverse the environment with more speed and resist falling damage. Orienteering. Use your keen perception to find hidden rewards in the environment. Cartography. All team entrances and map locations will be, reveal will be revealed on your map. And then over at Hunter. I thought there was supposed to be a third. I'm a bit, yeah. Oh, well, Steady Shot. A focus of mine allows you more time to aim deadly shots with your bow. Ammo capacity. Efficient use of bags and pockets allows you to carry more ammunition. Heavy lifter, your increased strength allows you to carry the maximum amount of ammunition. 
Accomplished killer. Eliminate your enemies with finesse to earn greater rewards. Bow expert. Stab enemies at close range with your arrows for extra rewards. Also unlocks headshot reticle. Pistol expert. Execute enemies at point blank range for more rewards. Also unlocks headshot reticle. Rifle expert. Um, oh, unlock your rifle at close range to brutally finish enemies and earn bonus rewards. And shotgun expert. Blast enemies with a shotgun at close range to stop them in their tracks. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, got it. Thanks, game. I'm going to be mostly ignoring the hunter perks, except for, like, uh, this one. I'll probably get that at some point, but even then, not right away. Also, yeah, extra ammunition. That's, that's useful, too, I guess, but it can wait. It can wait, because these are more important. So, what do we want? Five list. Earn extra rewards when looting animal corpses and food caches, or thoroughly search crates and caches to find extra salvage. Salvage is what we use to, uh, um, upgrade weapons to, like, you know, build the mods for them. And, uh, I believe when it says extra rewards with this, I believe it means experience points. So, if we get this, we get more experience points, which means we level up faster, which means we can get all the other skills sooner, basically. So, I think that's what we'll want to go with. Um, keen observation allows you to spot hard to find animals and food sources. I'm not sure. I think this is just speaking about our, uh, our survival instinct thingy, where we hold down Q and it covers the world in a yellow piss filter. And, uh, I, I basically, I think this just means it'll point out animals and food sources for us, so I don't think we actually want that ever. So, survivalist it is. And let's hope, yeah... For extra experience. Yep. Loot animal corpses and food cash directions. I knew it. I'm so good. Yep. Master that shit. New skill mastered. Thank you. Sweet. So, yeah. So basically, we'll just level up a little bit faster. And, uh, how do we exit this menu, actually? It does not seem to be an exit button. Oh boy. Great. Fantastic. Yep, I already got it. Thanks. Mastered. Um. Huh. Interesting. Escape? Okay, there you go. Escape. Wow. That was. That sh should not have taken so long. Anyway, survivor upgrades. And hunt. No, no. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, survivor upgrades and hunter upgrades. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe I'm just thinking of the weapon upgrades things. Maybe that's the third tier. And it's not actually skills, it's just uh, a different thingy. Or maybe I'm thinking of these. I don't know. This is Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth? Lara. You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. And then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. Yep. So, uh, abandoning the young girl out in the forest, Roth, true hero. Best hero there ever was. And, uh... Music. What was I wanted to... Uh-oh, that's open. That's not supposed to be open. Yeah, seriously, I'm gonna... Goddamn. I'm sorry. Hey, it would be an episode of this without me, uh... I think we can actually keep that up there. Yeah, without me having to wade through menus to get the settings just right. There you go. 
it's, it's super, when you zoom in, it doesn't change the uh, sensitivity at all. But I'm gonna have to zoom in to get, like, the far away target sometimes. Hello? Hello? Is someone there? Hmm. I don't see a radio playing or anything. Is she gonna automatically jump? Come on, don't automatically jump down. I want to like. This could be a way through. <sighs> Damn it! Damn it! Shift to drop. Yeah, as if I have a choice. Thanks a lot. I wanted to. I wanted to go in that forest and. Uh, I wanted to look around. Kill more animals. Get experience points. Alright, just... No, no, not... Oh, I have to use shift to drop. I can't just press what down and... And the jump button. Yes, markings. Ooh, spooky markings. Alright. Just climb all that. Wade through more nasty water, get even more infected. What am I doing? Ooh, that is a that is a marker of days right there. Was somebody living under here and all the shitty water? Oh god. This is insane. That's weird. Oh, there's more here. Alright, so I guess somebody was living down here in this section. Maybe this spot wasn't flooded initially. Maybe it only flooded like recently because of the rain. It was raining when uh, when she like fell asleep by the fire last night. Maybe it only flooded last night. No one leaves. Hmm, yeah, that's that's comforting news. Ooh, what's this? This traditional no mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. Examine to find hidden information. Right mouse to adjust camera angle. There are traces of white paint on the inside. Whoever used this mask was of noble birth. Cool. I mean, look at all the... Any more angles I can see it from? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think... I hope I'm not assuming too much here, but if my memory is correct... I think there's only like two sets of information you get from every item. The initial one that it gives you as soon as you pick it up, and then if you turn it around and examine uh, you know, examine it from a different angle, you get a second one. I hope that's what it is. Um, but yeah, this is what I was talking about. The collectibles in this item are actually fun to get, because all of them are things that have significance to the area, and like they make sense being there within the context of the world. It's not like a floating, glowing orb that you just run over and collect arbitrarily. It's an actual object that people used to use, and it's always like a, you know, you know something with like some kind of historical significance. So that, you know, keeps it immersive and, and fun to me. And it also, of course, um, has the little explanation of the, the history behind it because Laura is an archaeologist and a historian, so she's able to you know, she knows about that stuff. So, let's light this on fire. Get it all burned up. Oh, and we can also salvage this. For 20 experience, I guess. Was that 20 experience or 20 salvage? Not sure. Yep, no, we can't do that. Pry this open. Yeah, I need something to pry it open. Oh no. Oh. Those are okay, those are animals. These are probably deer. These are they can't be I know it's supposed to like creep us out and make us think that, oh no, they're cannibals, but that's too wide to be a human. That's clearly like the backside of a deer or something. Oh well, we got us a shitty stick with a knife tied to it. Oh, 
Oh, that's where the music's coming from. Okay. I assumed the music was, uh... Like, fake or something. Can't hold it down. Have to tap it! Repeatedly tap it. Great. Break my keyboard. Thanks a lot, game. I appreciate it. And this one, too. There you go. Lovely. And back into more water. Great. Oh my god, I just had a thought. Imagine how her and all her friends are going to have to smell after this. Especially her. That's just gross. Now I believe we should be back out in just a different section of forest. Stow torch. Hold shift to extinguish torch. Okay. Did you get that? Got it. We have a fire. Look for the smoke. We're on our way. Laura, you made it. Sam. Um, Thank goodness. Surprise. It's okay. He's one of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. My manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right. Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <laughs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says... She had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses me. Well, there's always some truth to miss. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to her? And they're gone. Matthias? Sam? Sam! Shit! Ah! Ouch! Yet again, no way. These wolves should just eat her effortlessly. But oh well, we're gonna put a stop to that. Somehow. There you go. I love how he like teleported off to the left. We can just preload each of our arrows and pull the thing back as long as we want. Most games, if I'm not mistaken, tend to uh, make it so that your arrow like loses accuracy or something if you pull the string back too long. And I assumed it worked off the same rules, but... Uh, Let go. Wow, that's not dangerous at all. Not like the bullet could ricochet off and embed itself in Laura's leg. I'm so glad you're here. 
Is Sam with you? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot me, go one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Laura and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It, it's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. Yay. Hey. You gonna be okay? Yes, I... Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. You sit, uh, you sit here. I'll, uh, <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Yeah, he's not acting suspicious at all. Not so bad. No, no, not, not at all. He's so the best. Ooh, can we? Can I just light the torch? No, I didn't want to do that. Close it, please. I need a torch. I here. There you go. Why can't you light torches at campfires? I never thought of that. Oh well. Let's do this now. Want to do this and get salvage. Yeah. Sweet. Collect salvage to upgrade weapons at base camps. Sweet. Very sweet. Oh. And uh. Really? Oh, my axe is too fragile. Okay. She didn't even try using the axe. She tried pulling it open with her hands. But okay. Whatever you say, game. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought. That any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace. Forgotten in time. Yep. I never thought Laura would believe me, and I was super surprised when she decided to go on this big expedition. I just didn't have the heart to tell her that I was lying through my teeth. That's, uh, that's where I have a feeling this is gonna go. Oh, yeah. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, no, I don't either. A large gate, huh? Sure thing, Whitman. Yeah. Because, you know, there's never... I don't think there's ever been a story ever before. Where, uh, ooh, oh, fallen arrows. I don't think there's ever been a story where the scientist who, uh, nobody took seriously, who wanted to, uh, you know, ooh, secret tomb nearby. I think there's actually a thing right in there. Cool. Um, though I don't think we can actually do it yet. I think I saw a glowy thing over here. But yeah, no, there's never been a story in the world where, uh, a scientist who wanted to get a big break went and did shady stuff and betrayed his friends in order to try and, you know, make some big discovery and become famous. No, no, it's never happened. Numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Oh, it's just another GPS Does cache. Want these to be found? It's almost like they were placed here by some sort of game developer. Lara's having a crisis of confidence. So, for her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. But something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous. And this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited! This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me. It's not like Lara has anything important to be doing. You know. Not like she has a whole bunch of you know, research to do, or you know, maps to look over or anything like that. No, no, no. She, I'm sure she has time to 
to just take a break and inebriate herself with mind-destroying poison, otherwise known as alcohol. Oh, shit! I was not expecting that. No, now... Christ. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh, more... Alright, I can't even see it. It's moving around too much. There you go, gotta dodge. There you go, and shoot it. Stupid piece of crap. Could have warned me about the wolves, Doctor. Yeah, you coulda. And, and, oh, tap shift at the end of a scramble to roll. Oh, cool. I forgot about that. Forgot there was a secondary dodge roll. That's pretty cool. Anyway, get that. Get some good experience. And that for some more. Sweet. Alright. And uh, I believe up here we can grab another thingy. Yep, more salvage. Nice. Just getting a ton of it. Gonna upgrade that bow super quick. Jump across here. Might as well grab some more arrows. And, uh, yeah, the doctor's up there. So let's not go there just yet. Those freaking wolves surprised the hell out of me. Wait a minute, I think I just remembered. Isn't, uh... Aren't, uh, those things... Where are the... I saw one just a second ago. It's up here, I believe. It was hanging under the bridge. Yeah, those things. The things that I said earlier look like wind chimes. Aren't they, uh, another form of collectible? Yep. Challenge unlocked. Complete for XP. Sweet. And a deer! An innocent deer we can kill. I'll get that in a second, too. After I collect this salvage. Yeah, goddamn. Salvage, the thingies we can break, animals to kill. There's so many collectibles in this game, and they're actually fun. I don't know what it is. Normally I hate collectibles. And I don't just mean... Oh, and plants to, to chop up, too. Ruthlessly murder the plants. Alright. Headshot, there you go. Bonus damage. Overkill. Sweet. Skin it alive, get the experience. I think we can kill some bunnies around here too. I saw a bunny a second ago. Actually, no. The, uh, the thing would be useful at this point. But, no. Still not gonna do it. There you go. Sorry, bunny. You must die for my for my pleasure. So I can get more experience points, level up, and unlock six skills. And I should maybe actually hold off on uh, taking all these salvage things until I get that Another shrine. skill that uh, unlocks... Who that, that, or that Yeah, who were they worshipping? I should probably wait on, using, on getting the, the salvage boxes until I get the skill that makes this like give me more salvage but oh well Whitman is such a drama queen I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot I mean this is his job right it's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling he'll calm down he might be a total pain in the ass but he knows how to work a scene I just need to do my job and keep my cool Laura doesn't know it but I've been shooting footage of her too I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. That's probably going to drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride. Yeah, huh? Cool. Though, that is another thing. <laughs> Why the hell are all these diaries left around telling us the inner thoughts of Sam and... Uh... You know, all the other crew members. So far, it's just Sam. No, Bunny, stand still for, like, half a second, please. Oh! Oh, it does do that! Okay, I guess it just didn't do that when we were, uh... When we were being attacked by the wolves. You know, for expected reasons. So, anyway. Oh, well. Uh, uh, well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have. For this episode, we'll go and talk to the the good doctor next time. 
So uh, until then, if you made it to the end of this, please consider leaving a comment. That'd be pretty cool. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Uh,